Here is a very simple SCR test circuit. Um, it consists of a normally open switch, normally closed switch, 9 volt battery, two 100 ohm resistors, focuser, and I used a 330 ohm resistor to drive the LED. Um, now I'm testing, can't read the specs on this one, um, let me pull it up here, it's a 2N6509 uh, silicon controlled rectifier, and this is a very nice circuit to be able to test them, and I'll probably also use this as the basis for my triggering circuit for um, some large coil gun projects or railgun projects because uh, I don't have them over here let me go grab them real quick all right about a minute later and here we have the goods some huge uh, 400 working volt 4700 microfarad capacitors um, you can see my hand in comparison I have very large hands <laughs> This is my multimeter next to them. They are gigantic. And by the way, if you're looking, uh, I've done some more work with the Vici. It has turned out to be a great multimeter. The capacitance and inducting, inductance readings aren't quite as dead on as a uh, fluke I use at school, but I can't complain. It has been great. So I'll post a schematic to this little circuit uh, on a link below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this can help anyone out there because um, <laughs> even though I'm in, a, in electrical engineering, I truly just kept twiddling my thumbs trying to figure out a very simple, very easy to design SCR triggering circuit. And I was trying to base it off the capacitor voltage and I was trying to step that down using a... Uh, voltage divider circuit and everything and it, honestly that that kind of voltage is a little scary to work with and you're very dependent on your resistors nothing short and out otherwise you're getting zapped so this I'll just keep a little 9 volt battery to drive the trigger circuit but this is beautiful and um, basically it also tests your SER obviously as it's a test circuit so you press push button normally open push button um, and it'll trigger it and basically latch um, the SCR in position because once there's current flowing, it'll continue to flow. But normally close switch, once you open that flow, it shuts off and it needs that gate voltage again to actually reactivate. So once you reapply that gate voltage, then it begins flowing again. And the only way to shut that off is to either drain your battery um, down past the point of the voltage drop of the silicon controlled rectifier or short it or uh, open it rather as I just did with that little switch so it's a very cool circuit very easy and uh, and very useful thank you very much for watching have a good one